Hello everybody, this is Daniel and Kelly with fitnessblender.com and today is day number two of our five day fitness challenge. So today we're going to be working on our upper body and we're also going to be doing some fat burning cardio intervals as well. Mm -hmm. We've also included a burnout round at the very end just to make sure those muscles are just really toasted and we've included again your warm up and your cool down. The only thing you need for this is a set of dumbbells. So again, one of us is going to be doing the harder version, one of us is going to be doing the easier version, but we need to get started with that warm up first, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, everyone, so let's go ahead and get our warm up done. We're doing each one of these for about 30 seconds each. You ready to go? Mm -hmm. All right, get my timer started. I'm starting off with just a regular boxer shuffle, so just go ahead and jump up on those toes. It's a nice quick shuffle back and forth from left to right. Your feet don't even have to leave for the ground for this, technically. You just kind of go back and forth if you want to keep it low impact, mm -hmm. or if you have neighbors below. Right. Like we said, we'll be giving that low impact option all throughout. I haven't really decided who's going to do which one, I guess. <laughs> I can do the hard one today. Yeah, if you want to. Yeah. Give you a break. All right, we got shoulder rolls coming up next. And let relax. Go ahead and go into those shoulder rolls. Nice big squeeze up towards your neck, down towards your sides. Make sure you're rolling towards the front and the back. So getting those chest muscles and rhomboids working in there as well. So really take your time and exaggerate this motion. Try mm -hmm. to get a good stretch all the way around. Next we have a sidestep arm cross. So right here, swing your arms in front of your body. Try to get a different one over top each time as you're alternating that move. Shoelace down. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> How fast can you tie your shoe? Get back to it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next up, we are doing a reach plus a chest stretch. This one feels really good. So, kind of reach forward, kind of round your shoulders, really exaggerate it, and then slowly open your arms back up and stick your chest out. So you're opening that chest up. Feel really good. And get your hands and your wrists in the action too once you come back here. If you pull your fingers back, you can get a stretch to your forearm. And add a little round in your lower back as well. Arching it kind of up as you pull the chest back as well as kind of rounding it forward a little bit as you lean forward. Alright, side bend and reach is next. So you're going to lean to the side, reach that direction, and do the same thing on the other side. Nice big reach. Trying to get a little more range of motion each time. You should be feeling it quite a bit through the outside of your torso and up through that shoulder joint. All right, toe touches and a ventral swing. So if you come about shoulder width apart, you can go down towards those toes, bring those arms kind of up back behind you and then stand up. Arms stretch over top of your head, a little bit of a little backward lean, and back down again. Pull those arms up, and back up. Just keep it going, and keep those lungs open. All right, arm circles next, so alternating forward and back. Nice big circles, cross those arms in front of your chest. Pull them back behind you as far as you can in the back, pause the bottom, and then reverse that direction. Excuse me, your circle is getting in the way of my <laughs> circle. <laughs> Just keep them going. Okay, next up we've got a lunge plus a ventral raise. Alright, so stepping forward, a little bit of a lunge, get an upper body stretch. Well, as a core stretch and your hip flexor in there too. This isn't a super, super deep lunge. It's more focusing on that torso stretch, especially through those arms. Oh, well, these feel really good. Mm -hmm. I like this sequence. Just do this for the whole routine. Yeah, right? All right, we've got walk downs next. I wish. Yeah, actually, you should tell us how sore are you from yesterday, I wonder, and where are you feeling it most? Yeah. I was, I'm pretty sore for 
having done the low impact version even. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel it quite a bit through my, my calves and glutes and thighs. I've got an odd one like through my uh, shoulders and traps from having to jumping jacks are next. Uh, through my shoulders and traps from having to hold the weights. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Get those odd things from these exercises yeah. sometimes, huh? Secondary muscles working. Oops. Get too excited trying to do the hard version? Uh -huh. Actually, you're supposed to be doing the easy version. <laughs> I'll trade you after this, okay? Okay. Three seconds. All right. So that's our warm up. So mm -hmm. get your dumbbells. We'll move right into that strength and cardio section. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and get started with our strength and cardio portion. So we have two strength exercises, one cardio exercise, and we're running through them uh, twice per exercise. And we're starting off with a chest fly. So we're going to be laying down on the ground. If you have a bench handy, by all means, you can use that. Otherwise, just lay on the ground. All right, so a physio ball also works really well. I used to even use our. Um, uh, the coffee table in the living room. So get creative. <laughs> Here we're just gonna push up into a bridge. What? And you can do it in a bridge like Kelly's doing, or you can do it flat out on your back like me, whichever. Nice and slow, just drop them out to the side. Keep a slight bend in your elbow, and then right back up over top of your chest. Keep that lower back pressed down relatively well. It doesn't have to be completely flat against the mat or your, or the ground. You do want to keep it from arching. Number five. Mm -hmm. So inhale as you lower the weights, exhale as you press back up. Slow it down just a little bit. Two more? Mm -hmm. Last one. And let it relax. Alright, All right, then stand back up. We're going to be doing a reverse fly for this next one. So, very similar motion, just bent over, uh, facing down rather than up. And I'm going to be using. 10 pounds per hand this is usually a pretty weak one for most people, so don't worry about trying to go too heavy on this. You want to try to focus on form as always. I'm using four pounds per hand. Probably still going to feel it. All right, so nice flat back, slight bend in your knee, pull those arms up and out to the side, slowly back down. Try not to throw your arms up there. Your body's going to try to cheat and just use the momentum. So try to control it the entire way, both up and down. Last one. Ooh. Nice. Okay. So next up we've got our cardio interval, so we're doing 45 seconds of fly jacks. Do you have your timer? Oh, and it just turned off. <laughs> okay, you ready? Uh -huh. All right, start them up. Here we go. So, 45 seconds. Daniel's showing the low impact version. That's right. Here we go. So, you're landing soft, but you're trying to use a full range of motion and move as quickly as you can. Mm hmm. Keep your core pulled in. Your arms rigid. Don't forget to breathe. And for that slower version like I'm doing, the further you step out, the harder it's going to be. So if you want to take a really nice big full step, by all means do so as long as you keep that form clean. Two, one. Alright, so back to that chest fly. <laughs> I think starting to get a little bit of burn in my shoulders. Yeah? That's pretty bad. Alright. Uh -huh. So, next one, like Kelly said, is the chest fly. So, back down on the ground. Make sure I've got the right amount of weight here. <gasps> These feet. <laughs> you ready? Yep. Alright. Hands right above those shoulders. A slight bend in that elbow. Bend your knees. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> Slowly <laughs> up. And back up. Make sure you don't let those arms relax on the ground. You want to keep a little bit of a hover underneath those arms. As much range of motion as you can, though. How many? <laughs> um, no. Oops. Let's just I think this is eight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything else we've got down. Counting is rough. Counting uh, is rough. Yeah. <laughs> All right, go ahead and let that relax. Everybody's like, who are these people? They can't even count to ten. <laughs> You're too interested in tossing and forget what we're doing. All right, so next we're doing that bench over fly again. So we're going to work that upper back. Dropping my weight even more. You ready? Mm -hmm. Alright, flat back. Halfway. Remember, you can always, if this gets really hard, you can drop the weight a little bit or drop the weights completely and do the range of motion just focusing on full range of motion and you can still get another good workout. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Go ahead and relax. Right. Time okay. for the cardio. Every time I touch it, it turns off. Mm -mm. All right. You ready? Mm -hmm. Alright, so same exact thing that uh, fly jack. So nice and slow. For the easier version, just focus on that form, nice straight arm, slowly moving as much range of motion as you can, pulling those arms back behind you. Speed it up, push yourself. Where is that timer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, All right. let that relax. All right, let's go ahead and move right into our next group, which is going to be starting off with an overhead press. So go ahead and grab whatever weight you want to use for that. So I'm going to be using 12 pounds per hand. Remember, that's not a suggestion of what you should lift. Those last few reps should be very difficult to complete. So listen to your body and choose a weight that's going to challenge you specifically. Ready to get your weight? Yep. All right, I'm at 20 pounds per hand. You ready? Uh -huh. So get those dumbbells up to your shoulders, elbows pulled back, nice and slow. Press that hand straight up over top of that head. Nice and slow, drop it back down. You want to try to keep that forearm perfectly straight up and down the entire time. If you want to, you can sit down and do this. Or you can stand just like us, whichever is more comfortable for you. You just want to make sure you don't arch your back out. You don't want to lean back. You want to try to keep that torso pretty much straight up and down. So halfway point. So inhale, as you're letting that weight come back down, exhale as you press back up. Generally speaking, you're kind of inhaling at the easy part of the motion, and then exhaling when you're really exerting yourself. One more. <laughs> I'm lower my weight. <laughs> Ow. All right. So next up, we're dro dropping back to the ground for a dumbbell pullover. So you need just one weight for this. Or two. I'm using two for my. Oh, okay. 
So we'll show you two different ways how to do it. <laughs> So we're going to press up into a bridge, so this is going to be working our glutes and our thighs as well as our lower back. And again, these are two different variations of the same exercise. You can either stay with those hips down to get a little bit more range of motion through that shoulder, or you can have those hips up to get a little bit different angle on that, that lat muscle. So you're bringing that weight up right above your chest. You're not going in any further than the shoulder joint. If you do, you're going to feel that it's not as difficult. So keep it in that range of motion where it's really keeping your muscles tight the entire time. No rest. Two more. Last one. All right. Nice. Okay, so our cardio is a push pull squat. So Ready? So we're going to be pushing forward and squeezing back. So you're going to really squeeze those shoulders to get in a good workout through the arms. So squat down. Forward. So try to work that range of motion through that squat. Those legs are probably going to feel pretty weak from yesterday's workout. But just keep pushing through it as much as you can and really concentrate on working against yourself, like Kelly said, through that push pull motion. If you need to, you can keep your squat nice and shallow too, you know. Mm -hmm. If you're sore, just if you start to feel um, any kind of pain that is not the good kind of pain, you can lay off, pull back a little in your intensity. Okay, let that relax. Alright, back over to that overhead press, so grab those weights for that. So I'm using 8 pounds per hand on this one. I can feel my forearms start to suffer in that last one. Yeah. A lot of these exercises we're doing are hitting those shoulders really, really heavily. So they're going to fatigue really, really quickly. So you might be noticing you're using a lot less weight than you normally would. All right, here we mm -hmm. go. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice slow controlled motion straight up, right back down again, as low as is comfortable without letting that forearm tip out or tip in. Again, you want to try to keep that forearm straight up and down so that wrist is directly above that elbow. Nice flat back, try not to arch your chest. It's halfway? Uh-huh. Nice burn. Nice is the word. <laughs> when I'm done, I'm sure I'll reflect on it as having been nice. In the moment, it's a little harder. <laughs> Last one. Mm. Ooh. Great. All right, we're on that pullover again. All right, so I've dropped down to 12 pounds for this one too, because again, I can feel my arms starting to really. My form's starting to get sloppy. So I'd rather do it with perfect form than heavier with poor form. Alright. Alright, here we go. Nice and slow out. Again, either doing it like Kelly is with her hips up or flat back on the ground like I am. It's just inhale. A oh, sorry, sorry. I was going to say inhale as you lower the weight towards the ground and exhale as you pull it back up. If you can't get the breathing down, that's okay. Just the main thing, the most important thing is that you're not holding your breath. Constantly making that diaphragm, those abdominal muscles work to breathe. I've got eight, how many you have? 
I think this is, is this eight, you mean? I know this is nine. Mm -hmm. I think you have one more. Whew. All right. Cardio over with, and we'll go back to a quick water break. We get into things we're about to get going even more here. Alright. For more of that squat with a push pull. So squat down, press it out, stand up, pull those arms back, try to keep those arms kind of parallel to the ground. Nice tight squeeze. Pushing forward and pulling back. These body weight movements, just working against yourself, as long as you're doing them right, if you're really pushing against yourself, these can be just as tiring as doing it with weights. All right. All right. Okay, first water break. So grab a drink of water, don't drink too much because we're not known for the cardio. Save the heavy drinking for when you're done with your workout. I'll see you in just a second. Okay, let's go ahead and jump right back into it for our second half of the strength and cardio portion. You ready to get started? Yep, we're doing right. hammer curls. So I'm going to be using 12 pounds per hand. I'm using 20 um, pounds per hand. Alright. So a hammer curl is just with your palms facing in towards one another. Nice and slow, curl it all the way up as high as you can towards that shoulder and then nice and slow back down. Main thing you want to focus on is keeping that elbow directly underneath your shoulder socket. So a lot of people you'll see curl and pull those elbows forward. That's actually starting to cheat and lose range of motion for that overall strength exercise. So make sure you keep those elbows back. Keep that bicep working the entire time. You counting? <laughs> <laughs> Doing too much talking. I don't know where I am. Seven. Two more. Alright, let me relax. Okay. Next one is going to be a tricep kickback. So a slight bent over position. So I'm using 8 pounds per hand for this one. And I'm going to be using 10, so nice flat back. Tip straight over forward, arms directly underneath your shoulder. Pull those elbows up to your sides and freeze them there. Then just kick back straight with your arm. The arm go right back underneath that elbow and right back up again. Make sure to keep your back flat. You can also get in um, a little secondary leg workout here. So keep everything nice and tight as you're bent over. Pull in your core. One more. Yeah. Oh. And let that nice. relax. All right. And so that next, that uh, first cardio. All right. So we're doing kickouts plus a twist. So I'm going to drop down. Are you going that way? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> so you're dropping down and pulling back. Remember, so the low impact version too. There you go. So the low impact version, you're just stepping out one foot at a time. Try to keep your hips stationary as you rotate back, so you're getting in a good, actually using your torso muscles a little. When you're doing that low impact version like I am, make sure you alternate which foot you step out with each time. So for one repetition, lead with that right. For the next repetition, lead with that left. And let it relax. All right, back All right. to the hammer curls. So one round of these done already. Let 
I'm gonna try to go a little bit heavier. Okay, stand it nice and tall. Mm -hmm. Start it up. Nice and slow. Squeeze that hand up towards that shoulder. But don't let that elbow come forward. To really get the most out of this exercise, you wanna move slowly. Don't swing, don't get any body momentum to swing that weight up. It is nice, slow, controlled motion, keeping that elbow directly underneath that shoulder. Halfway. Mm -hmm. It's harder and harder not to cheat as you get tired, so try to be really mindful of your form. Last one right here. Alright. So back to that tricep kickback. And I'm going to use 8 pounds this time. That's 10 pounds for me. Oh no, 8 is what I used last time. <laughs> 4 pounds for him this time. <laughs> I'm struggling. Alright. All right. Here we go. Flat back, elbows to your sides. Swing those hands back, slowly back underneath that elbow, back out again. Don't worry about bringing that hand in up towards your shoulder, it's just directly underneath that elbow, because then it just starts working a different muscle at that point. You can hear my muscles shaking because my weights are rattling. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight. Last one. Whew. All right, punch the cardio button. All right, right time started. All right, here we go. Let's go down. One foot at a time for the slow version. on that form. You can make things a lot easier by just focusing on that form and really getting a nice clean form in it. Alright, All right, so into that on one. to that next set. So we are going to a close chest press. So we're dropping back down to the ground. I'm using 16 pounds per hand for this one. Slightly different range of motion than before. And target the muscles differently. I'm going to be using 40 pounds per hand. All right. Ready? Mm -hmm. All right. So again, you can press up into a bridge if you want to get a little extra core and lower body work. Otherwise, you know, straight up above. And you're dropping it down. Tuck it in close to your sides. And press it back up. You want those upper arms kind of rubbing that rib cage as you drop down. Keep those lungs open. There's number seven. Just a few more. All right, last one. All right, there we go. All right. All right, next one is going to be a close row. So kind of similar motion we were just doing with the, uh, the, the bent over chest fly, but this time you'll be pulling in really nice and close. Very, very similar motion to the tricep kickback, just not extending that arm. All right, let's see, I'm using 30. I'm just gonna leave these weights right here. Still have enough room? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. 
here we go. So bend over, flat back, draw that arm up to your side, and then extend it right back out again. Just two more. Ah, yowza. Woo. All right. Cardio interval. We have walk downs and jumping jacks. So. Oops. <laughs> Get my stuff out of the way here. <laughs> that might be helpful. Mm -hmm. Alright. Alright, here we go. So we're walking out and coming back up and doing two jumping jacks. And once you're here, one, two. So with that easier version, you can bend those knees if you need to to do that walk out. Get as far as you can. You don't have to go the full way if you don't have to, or if you don't, if you can't. And then that jumping jack is one leg at a time as you come up with those arms. Okay, so, starting that over. Okay, back to the close chest press. Okay. Alright, ready? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Those arms in nice and close. Forearms straight up and down. Whew. It's halfway. Last one. Ooh. Ooh. Um, wow. If making weird noises by the end, you've probably done a good job. <laughs> right, I'm going to drop to eight pounds this time for this one. Alright, here we go. Ready? Yep. Alright, flat back. Draw those hands straight up to your sides, right back down, short pause, right back up again. If you really want to get into it, make sure you're letting those shoulders kind of draw forward those shoulder blades and then squeeze them back as you pinch them together. Just don't let that back round. This halfway right here? Mm -hmm. Three more. Last one right here. Right. Okay. There we go. Back to the cardio. Okay, right. here we go. Whew. All right, walk them out. Take your time with that easy version. Focus on that form. 
if you're doing those strength exercises right, these relatively simple cardio motions should be yeah. actually pretty uncomfortable. All right, done with that group, moving on to the next, starting off with lateral raises. So I'm gonna use four pounds per hand for this one. And then weaker range of motion. So enjoy this kind of more mild cardio while it lasts. Tomorrow we're gonna to be going back to hit. Should be fun. Okay. Ready? So nice and light too. Yeah, five pounds. Alright, here we go. Lateral raise, palm facing down towards your thigh, nice and slow. Up to at least shoulder height, right back down again. So the range of motion on that shoulder should stop you just a little bit above shoulder height without rotating your hand open. Halfway? Half six. Oh, okay. I think I did one less than you. <laughs> Two more. And let it relax. All right, I'm gonna keep this four pounder. I'm gonna be doing a side pullover now. So, dropping down to the floor. All right, so laying on one side, dumbbell directly above your shoulder. You want your shoulders stacked. Don't let them roll forward or roll back. Nice and slow, drop that hand out over top of your head and pull it right back up above that shoulder joint. Nice and slow back out again. Nice slow motion. Get as much range out of it as you can, as much as you can control and as is comfortable on that shoulder. If you feel like you can't get your arm to at least parallel to the ground, then you need to drop the amount of weight you're using. At five? I have six. <laughs> yeah, I'm off again. <laughs> One of those is. <laughs> your weight's getting Last closer one. and closer. <laughs> All right, same thing on the other side. Come here in front of you. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is going to be my way. There What's that? I got it. Okay. All right, starting with that dumbbell directly above that shoulder again. Nice and slow over top of your head. And back up. Remember, keep those shoulders stacked. Try to let them open up and roll backwards on you. Those lungs open. It's halfway. One right, more. Last one right here. Whew. All right. All right. Done. All right, one more group of that. And on our way, actually we have our cardio interval first, so. Mm-hmm. hit the timer. We've got butt kicker drops. So we're doing three butt kickers and you drop down to a squat as low as you can control and handle. So, watch the handle for the low impact version. Nice and slow down. One, two, three, slow down. Whatever your last leg was, you want to switch what you start with. Stay light, you click on your feet. And just because you're going low impact doesn't necessarily mean you need to go slow either. So you can always go a little bit faster. Yeah, 
Let's relax. All right, second round of all these guys. Okay. Starting back over with that lateral raise. Okay. All right. Ready? Palms facing in those thighs. Ready when you are. So when you're doing this one, I've noticed with a lot of my clients and with myself as well, if you get a little bit of the uh, Elvis lip curl when you're doing it, <laughs> kind of start grimacing <laughs> as you get up to the top. So if you want to look, see a funny face, look at yourself in the mirror while you're doing this exercise. You should get pretty good. Or you can just laugh at our faces. That works too. Two more. Oh. All right. Okay. Dropping back down to that side pullover. Trying to decide if we're going to stick with the same way or not. Okay. Right. Laying on your left side, weight in that right hand, nice and slow. Drop that dumbbell over top of your head. Right back up, stop above that shoulder, out again. Just take your time, keep your lungs open. Halfway? Two more. Last one right here. And move on to the other side. How much can I scooch towards you? I think you get plenty of room. Okay. Let's <laughs> my weight set last time. <laughs> I'm gonna block you out. You're fine. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, you ready? Uh-huh. Here we go. <laughs> Halfway. Keep those lungs open. Keep it going. Two more. And last one right here. Whew. All right, let that relax. All right. Last round of cardio. Gonna punch the button. See? Okay. All right, buck your drops. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Remember to switch which leg is kicking each time, which leg you're leading with each time. Remember if you're doing the easier version, you can always speed it up. You don't have to go really slow, just don't add the jump in. Turn that form. And let it relax. Alright. So that is the end of the uh, first portion. We'll be back to get into that the burnout round. Burnout round, yeah. <laughs> in just a second.
All right, we're moving on to our burnout round. We're going to be doing 45 seconds of active exercise with 10 seconds of rest. So this is a pretty quick transition. We're gonna burn out our cardio and our arms here. So we're starting off with push-ups. So go ahead and drop it down. And get started in just a few seconds. You can do them from your hands and knees or your toes and your hands, whichever one you need to, to make it work for you. Oh, I know after that workout, this is gonna, you're gonna feel these pretty quick. So do the best you can. Remember, it's a burnout round, so don't feel disappointed if your muscles start to walk out on you. Start with the hardest version you can, then start walking down in difficulty until you just can't do anymore. You need to take a break. And even when you take a break, just keep it quick. 15 seconds left. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> I thought I was getting closer to that. <laughs> Five seconds. All right. Okay, 10 Ooh. seconds rest. We're moving on to switch foot jumps. So keep your feet moving even during your rest intervals. Never hold still. Three seconds. All right, here we go. So I'm doing the easier version, the low impact version. Kelly's doing the high impact version. If you try to move as quickly as you can, you're gonna get just as much of a cardio uh, bump out of this as the full version. If you need to, feel free to slow down. 20 seconds. You enjoy doing the harder version? Uh huh. <laughs> so done. Right. Next up, we're doing a traveling push pull. So, we're going to be pulling those muscles back, squeezing your arms back. We're going to be moving while we do it. So, you can start high, squeeze back, come down a little lower, squeeze back. So, you're coming down, descending a little bit each time, squeezing those muscles back. So, working them from every angle here. And then, work your way back up. You want to drop into a little bit of a squat and give you those legs a little bit more work. Five seconds. All right, next up, we're doing a little kickboxing. Doing a jab, cross, jab, plus two knees. And we're going to switch sides. So we're alternating which side is leading all the way through. Jab, cross, jab, two knees. So Here jab is your leading arm. <laughs> Forgetting my knee motion there. About ten seconds left. Now on the ground for this next one, we're doing tricep dips. So, you can do this off a chair if you've got it. Otherwise, just drop down, kicking one leg out to get a little extra movement with it. Just make sure your arms are going straight out behind you. Try to keep those hips up as high as you can, just whatever's comfortable on that shoulder. Try to get the maximum range of motion you can. Under 20 seconds left. Ooh, man. Yeah. Oh, five seconds. Oh. All right. Oh, okay. Flipping over for some mountain climbers here. Two, one, here we go. That 
plank just getting too hard for you, feel free to just do off of that knee. So just trying to keep a full range of motion, just tuck that knee up as high as you can. But try to stay up in that full plank for as long as possible. Five seconds. Oh, okay. Right. We're Two going more. back to something deceptively simple. Yeah. Uh, arm circles. So get ready for a nice burn on this yeah, one. Here we go. Get right. arms up. Small circle just around that shoulder joint. So make sure you're keeping those arms up nice and high. Don't let those arms start drifting down as you get tired. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Mm hmm Okay. So if you aren't feeling these, you know you need to either lift heavier or check your form. You can switch directions if you want. Yeah, we're going reverse now. Oh. Just keep those arms up around that shoulder socket. Don't let them droop. Oh my gosh. Yeah, okay. Go to your happy place. <laughs> Almost done, under 10 seconds. <sighs> Three, two, one. Oh. All right, one more cardio interval, doing up and out jacks. Three seconds. All right, here we go. It's our last 45 seconds of work, so try to move quick. Oh man, I'm getting my uh, rotation messed up here. I must be getting tired. <laughs> Part of the challenge. Mm -hmm. They say exercise makes you smarter, but I always joke that <laughs> that comes in later in the actual yeah. workout. <laughs> Ten seconds left. Three, two, <laughs> one. All right. So. Good. Slowly take it back down. Mm -hmm. Don't stop moving. Just keep those feet moving for just a second. We're going to start moving into our cool down here. We're just kind of free forming. This is not going to be a specific time. We're just going to kind of hold it until it feels good. <sighs> just keep those feet moving. Kind of let your cardio start to drop down a little bit. Let the, those lungs start to relax a little bit more. Kind of flushing that blood through your system a little bit while you relax. A little bit longer and then we'll start into our stretches. You ready? Mm hmm. All right. So, as we started with our upper body today, we're going to start focusing on those upper body exercises or upper body stretches, excuse me. So, bring one hand back, hand to shoulder, grab that elbow, pull across as far as is comfortable. Should be feeling it stretch to the back of that tricep, a little bit through the outside of that shoulder as well. Lean away from it if you want to to get a little extra stretch. Switch sides. We're gonna get that little bit of a lean to get that extra stretch that outside of your torso, a little bit through the rib cage and shoulder a little bit more. Alright. Right. I come to the center and do a little or so lean. I feel like I need to stretch out my sides here. Mm -hmm. Keep those lungs open. Don't hold your breath. All right, other side. All right, let's drop down to the center. We'll collapse our hands behind our back. And let those arms go over your head. Get a nice upper body stretch. Alright, come 
back up. Uh, yeah. Bring that arm across in front of your chest, grab behind that elbow, kind of pull across, should be feeling it to the outside of that shoulder, probably across the back, that upper back as well, that rhomboid area, that shoulder blade area. Switch sides. Mm -hmm. Ooh, man. Trying to hold with my elbow up. <laughs> Stress now or, or uh, getting a good burn on that shoulder again. Let's try to keep that arm straight across in front of your chest as close as you can. All right, let's do a chest stretch. So find an open wall or really anything that you can put your hand against. Fingers facing back behind you. Open that chest up away from that hand. If you're feeling it more in your bicep than you are in your chest, just rotate that arm so the inside of the elbow is pointing up. If you want to feel a little bit more in your forearm, then just kind of step back on that, away from that arm just a little bit more and you should get a little extra stretch that forearm. Alright, switch sides. Mm -hmm. Same exact thing on the other side. If you're feeling it too much in that bicep of the arm you have against the wall, just rotate so that inside of that elbow is pointing straight up. Just open that chest up as much as you can. Walk back on that hand to get a little bit more stretch that forearm. Alright, let's stretch the front of the thighs before we drop right. since we did a little cardio today. Mm -hmm. So again, tomorrow for the, uh, day three, we'll be doing something entirely different again. So mm -hmm. um, we'll take everything we did it today into consideration, so don't feel like you can't show up for day three, even if you're sore from this tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Alright, switch sides. <laughs> it's hard to balance in here. <laughs> the all white messes with your brain. <laughs> it does. Yeah. You pick a spot on the wall and then it starts to move. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that um, Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. Didn't they have an all white room? To, like, oh, the TV room. Yeah. 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 Like that. <laughs> I don't know how we got into Willy Wonka. <laughs> I don't know how you don't. Okay. <laughs> so downward dog. Just gonna walk out nice and slow. Switch out the backs of those thighs first. Just take your time walking out. And then once you're here, try to get your feet, your heels pressed down on the ground, but focus on trying to press your head through your shoulders as well so you get a good upper body stretch. And slowly lower yourself down. <laughs> Press back up. Shoulders down away from your ears. Try to lock those elbows out if you can. If you can't, that's perfectly fine. Just go as high up as is comfortable for you. Just tilt that chin up towards the ceiling. Alright, now press back. The child's pose. Press down and away from yourself so you kind of get a good shoulder and chest stretch again with this. I feel like I could just nap here right now. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Take nice. a 20 minute nap. Yeah, nice and slow. Draw those hands into your oh. shoulders, or sorry, to those knees. About underneath that shoulder, press your palm into the ground and arch that back up. Get a little extra back stretch. Tuck that chin.
next. Let's do a couple neck stretches. Okay. So right here, just to feel, finish on a feel good. So we'll just kind of look right and left. Take your time. Nice fluid motions. Nice deep breaths. Keep that back nice and straight. Focus on getting that spine nice and straight. You don't want to do this with a rounded back, even if you're really tired. All right, now come back to the center. Do a couple side to sides here. These muscles get worked over when you spend all day at a computer desk. Mm -hmm. I know by the time I'm done, sometimes I find myself like hunching over and just using a really bad posture. It's not good. Gonna fight back against that. All right, now let's just roll it forward. Push, just get a little bit of stretch all the way around. So the uh, forward roll. Keep those lungs open, breathing normally. All right. I think that's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, that was our last stretch, which means this workout is complete. We'll see you guys here tomorrow for day number three. Good job. Bye.